So, what did you think of the music to the intro? I'd say it's pretty damn befitting for this uh, for this game, don't you think? Yeah, classic Godfather. I couldn't help myself, I just had to put it in. Anyhow, alright, welcome back to the channel, people. Um, I figured out how to get my controller to work. Yeah, it was pretty simple. Someone on the Steam forum, in the discussion forum, mentioned to go into Steam and settings and untick the box that says Xbox controller support, which doesn't make sense because I would think if I want my Xbox controller to work, I should have that box checked, right? Well, with this game, that's not the case. It's pretty much ass backwards. But I tried it out. I said, why not, right? I got nothing else to lose. And lo and behold, it works. So, <sighs> I can't complain. Let's just uh, hope and pray that no more issues arise. Which I have a feeling there will be more issues. Call me cynical. But it's always the case with, uh, with games when you're uh, playing in the PC. So anyhow, here we go. I'm going to restart the story from the beginning again and do a proper walkthrough. So here's part one. And yeah, remember to smash that like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy my videos, it will really help my channel out. And also, this will be uh, a limited commentary, so... For those of you that want to watch the game and not hear my obnoxious voice and commentary, don't worry. It'll be very limited. I'll only keep it in the intro and the outro of each uh, gameplay video. Alright, so here we go. Here's the story. I'll start from the new game again. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go.
Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the net. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. What? Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Chris, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Guys, 
You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Your leg okay up there? Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. Zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Okay, we're close. Pull over in front of that bar. Gary's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you wanted it at poker. 
scratches on your car. You swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Of course. Um, what about the bullet holes? See you around, kid. <laughs> I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. There you have it. That was a pretty cool intro. I have an appointment. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Oh wow, that's cool. It's like a speed limiter. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. That's much better. So, <laughs> almost hit old lady. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Yeah, I kind of like this game mechanic that uh, you have to abide by driving rules and regulations. I wish they had that in GTA. Makes it feel a little more immersive and realistic, you know? <laughs> that horn sounds horrendous. Sounds like a dying duck. Shut up. Church. There, by the park. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. What the architecture? The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. Nasty old bitch. Ooh. Hey. That was a bit racist. Can't drive without the radio. 
better find a no f Enter officers now. Officers downtown. Some fella near you is driving like a madman. What? Our gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. <sighs> Looks like the cops want to work with you, pal. There, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw them before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Sense. Yeah, spend 50 all cents. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next.
modern woman on the go, it has to be Big Break White. Hey, Made my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. This is the Jake break, huh? Ever Thanks. Taste the fresh Let's just do it. Big Break White. When out of towners, think about. Jesus! Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much locking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Get away from here! We need to go get over here fast! <clears throat> Run! Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. OK, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah, he's gonna wanna hear about this. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. 
There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? The cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Find anything good? Nah, I... I hate I'm watching you. Is Got it? I get it. Boss says you're not ready to come out on collections. What can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Newspaper, September 23rd, 1930. Prohibition here to stay. Production and sale of alcohol to remain illegal. In a speech to gathered press, President Herbert Hoover reiterated today that the noble experiment of prohibi prohibition will remain in place. Forced to respond to Democrat criticism, Hoover also promised a more efficient and better funded Prohibition Bureau to prevent profiteering and smuggling. Oh, collectible. Nice. See. See. Come back later. With Paul or Sam. The bars are closed. For you, I'm afraid. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. You like this? There's more where it came from. Adon's grateful for your business. So we're grateful for his dough. But we gotta go. Long drive. Checking the map, see how big um, this area is. The map's not really that big. All right, here, zoom out. Here, zoom in. Yeah, it's not. It's not as big as like say. GTA 5 or anything, but maybe the game's just packed with like a lot of details and things like that.
not doing a Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gat. You can look around, sure. But nothing leaves the room. Too late for that. I just picked up a collectible. Cop sure would love to get their hands on this stuff. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got away with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interested, huh? But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. This guy's voice sounds funny. Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papali? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, see, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Just sh show up, Polly. Oh, yeah. the stuttering is funny. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It ain't a ha ha ha, Brad, but it, it'll get you across to, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick's a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends in the forest than us. But we're okay, so long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We we'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but. Not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. 
Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. Again on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. Put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Okay, you go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. He's got his name, guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and shut them from behind. I'm real good at distracting. It's my best thing. What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep me out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to get Morello a black eye. And Dino makes you card the card? Yeah, just like that. I got it. <clears throat> Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Ah, that's great. Wow, look at the deformation. Dude, oh. oh, not bad. Hey, get away from the car. Get Back up down, turn run. Uh. You got some kind of death wish? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that hurts. That was nasty. Throw some fire! Good. Yeah, Morello's crew would have heard that. Oh, bla. 
lock her dead. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm... Dino's in gunfire in North Park. Mask the window, and we can take it. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! They're shooting! Don't let him get away! Come on, you bastards! Ah, oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and get clear of them. Really? Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. Let's not get them real pissed. Wasn't clear. Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose it. Be careful, Tom. We don't need more heat. See the boss. I thought Cilieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. We need help right so, away. Who's the cops? Driver down there is either drunk or crazy. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Oh, some guys, sure. Their cousin got made or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? Well, 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 it why? This one's better. Up of a better car with B -b 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 a better car? Fresh air never killed nobody. Can't go up the stairs. He's still with you then. Somehow. Yeah. Hey boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. 
I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. Loyalty. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. Durr. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me. You're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. All right, folks. That's, uh... That's going to be it for now. I've been playing and recording for, um, I don't know, at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know. I have to check uh, my video recording software to see how long I'm playing. Uh, I don't want to record too long because uh, I have very limited storage space on my, um, my C drive SSD. So I'm going to have to transfer the video over to one of my externals. I think I have maybe a terabyte and a half left on my other external drive. It's not an SSD, but um, it's the only place I have room. So, all right, uh, I'm going to maybe uh, continue playing, I guess, tomorrow. And uh, it will be part two. And I've been playing, I only play games usually just on a record in 4K. So this, this file itself is going to be massive, uh, about an hour, an hour's worth of recording roughly estimates to about, uh, like 30, maybe 40 gigs. So it's, it's quite a bit. And, uh, between the editing process and then uploading to YouTube, it, it could take like six to eight hours. So. Uh, I'll start playing again tomorrow. All right. Take care and good night, everybody.